guys, welcome back for another episode of Uncut Gems with Slim. This is your host, Slim Roche. I'm super excited to have you guys tune in for another week, another gem, and we're going to get straight into it, y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Singles Awareness Day. Where my single ladies and men at? If you single, if you single, <laughs> drop it in the comments. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You know, you might meet your soulmate in the comments. You know, Gym Squad, we're a community of high quality men and women. So I'm just saying, you, you utilize. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, super excited. Happy Valentine's Day. We got the balloon garland going on here at the Creative Studio Columbia. I'm super excited about today's episode. Y'all, we are talking about real relationships the importance of real relationship and I know all my singles are like wait a minute girl I thought we was talking about singleness and yada 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 woo, woo. girl we are talking about it but we are talking about real relationship and not just within the confines of a having a romantic partner because there are multiple forms of relationships whether it be friendships business partnerships all those different things your connection with one other individual is a relationship so we're talking about real relationship today and the importance of it and i'm super super excited again happy valentine's day happy singles awareness day and for the people who just refer to february 14th as february 14th happy sunday okay <laughs> and so today we are going to be talking about how to foster and cultivate real relationship in all areas of your lives and as we mentioned relationships are your connection with any other individual um, whether that be business partnerships and also can include your relationship with god okay because that is a relationship yes can i get an amen from the deaconess amen thank you i want to talk about one of the main things as cliche as it always seems but is such a vital part of real relationship in that y'all is communication and we're kind of gonna touch on communication this week and next week because it's such a big component of building long-lasting sustainable relationships and so communication is one of the answers that I feel like people always give when people ask like what are the top three things or what are the top um, words of advice you can give someone about thriving in relationship or being successful in relationship and I feel like communication is always like one of those answers and I've been blessed to have the opportunity to converse with a few different individuals over the past few years and each of these relationships have allowed me and taught me the significance of effective communication like when I tapped into having effective communication with another human being like I was like bruh the amount of time we waste because of miscommunication or the lack of willingness to communicate to effectively communicate between parties like that is so B team like it, that is so trash and I want you guys to get rid of having poor communication in your relationships and when I talk about effective communication I'm not just referring to the dialogue but it also refers to each party's ability to understand what was said and actively listening to respond versus waiting for the other person to say their piece so you can rebuttal. And so make sure you guys tune in next week because we are going to dive deep and discuss how to improve communication skills in relationship, but moving forward on real relationship. So in real relationship with effective communication, all of that coupled with having a genuine regard for one another's well-being and their happiness is so, 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 so vital to any relationship or friendship. And what I mean by this is evaluate how does this person make you feel? Like, do you guys have mutual respect for each other? Do you have genuine 
regard for the other person's will being. All of these things contribute and help add to cultivating real, genuine, long lasting relationships. And so this week we are merely just scratching the surface of what real relationship is and how to tap into real relationship. Real relationship has a certain level. Now this is getting leaning a little bit more towards actual romantic partner relationships, but real relationship has you already should love that neighbor, you know what I'm saying? But it's like a certain, you know how you have unconditional love for somebody? That's kind of how you need to care for the other person in your in the relationship. Now, obviously, you're not going to unconditionally love every person that you're in a relationship with. If you do, I don't know how you're doing it. But, like, genuinely caring for another person's well-being that right there is one of the top things that impacts real relationship because when you genuinely care for a person when you genuinely have their best interest in heart and you have regard for their happiness and things like that you really put forth the effort to communicate effectively and you put forth the effort for the relationship for the friendship to grow and to flourish and to last long. But also when you have genuine regard for one other's well-being, their happiness, when you care about them, when you communicate effectively, you're also able to make tough decisions when you are real in relationship. So being real in relationship also includes having tough conversations. It includes knowing when that thing is coming to an end and being able to communicate that and mutually part ways. Um, and so this is just scratching the surface of what real relationship looks like. And so as we wrap up, I just wanted to touch on being real with yourself and identifying if a relationship is draining you. I feel like I'm leaning down. <laughs> Posture, terrible today. <laughs> and so when I say um, being able to identify a relationship that is draining you, a relationship that is no longer feeding you, it's like sometimes I feel like because of the available affection and comfort and companionship that you receive in relationship, we can remain in relationships and friendships longer than their expiration date. And we want to try to be, I want to encourage you guys to try and be more cognizant and acknowledge when a relationship has reached its end. And sometimes it can be hard and sometimes it can be worked through. I've had friendships where I felt like they were draining, like I was giving all into them, but I wasn't getting that same effort into the relationship. And it wasn't until we had a real authentic communication because we already had genuine regard for each other as friends. It wasn't until we had real communication and talked about how we felt our friendship was going. And once we had that conversation, with that conversation came understanding about how each party felt. And then it also came with a sense of action where each party agreed to like, yes, we're going to put in the work because we value this friendship and it's going to be long lasting. And the way we cultivate that is by communicating and by understanding each other's needs in friendship. And when I tell y'all like 10 out of 10, when you have these kind of conversations, like it really can propel your relationships, your real relationships. Okay. Um, but yeah, like just, I know sometimes it can be hard because it might be all you know. The relationship that you're in might be all you know. The friendship that you are in might be all you know. The business relationship you are in, that might be all you know. So it can be hard when it's time to part ways in a relationship but like we said last week each season is so important each relationship in life teaches you something each relationship in life teaches you something it's up to you to pick up what the lord is putting down 
in this lesson that he's teaching you in this season. So I wanna encourage you guys to value and put effort into relationships in your life in part ways when a relationship has reached its end. So that's all I got for this week. Y'all enjoy your Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, Singles Awareness Day. Enjoy your Sunday. Treat yourself. Do a little self-love, okay? Practice a little bit of self-love today. I love you guys so very much. I hope this has been impactful. I'm super excited to continue the conversation about effective communication next week. So make sure you guys tune in for another episode of The Real Single Series. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, all podcast streaming platforms, and on Instagram. We are on Instagram, so make sure you follow us at Uncut Gems with Slim. And until next week. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to subscribe to the podcast and feel free to connect with me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Slim Roche. That's S-L-I-M-R-E-S-H-A-E. Links will be listed in the show notes. And until next time, love yourself and be you, Tiffle. When you need to pay.